Hi guys, today we'll be showing you 7 awesome hidden features and tricks on iOS 11 that you may or may not have heard of. If you are using iPhone 5S, iPad mini 2, iPad Air 1 and above, you are able to update your iOS to the latest iOS 11. With the new iOS comes new awesome designs and features that you have always wanted in iOS 10 or below. Of course, with iOS 11, there are more than a hundred new features that you love to have but these seven cool hidden features and tricks are the best of them all so without further delay let's get started the first hidden feature is the dark mode as you know that since iPhone 7 Apple has released two more colors the jet black and the matte black and also with the iPhone 8, Apple also has released the space gray with the glass back. But still, Apple hasn't allowed us to be able to customize our iOS to be black to match with the black iPhone. But with this trick, you are able to turn your iOS into a dark mode. So how can you turn your iOS device into a dark mode? It is simple to do. You just navigate to settings and you go to general and accessibility and at the top section you can see display accommodations click on that and again at the top you see the word invert colors click on it and you can see at the top they say smart invert just turn it on to activate dark mode now your phone is in the dark mode you see everything else is in the dark mode so the words are in white color but the other things are in dark mode which look really cool if you go to apps, for example, the like app store here, everything works perfectly. Even Facebook. So this is dark mode. So in addition to the dark mode feature that I've just shown you at the moment, what's even cooler is that you can also activate the dark mode or the smart inward directly from your control center from anywhere, from home screen or from lock screen or from any app you are using. However, to make this trick work, you need to follow two simple steps first. Step number one, make sure that in your accessibility shortcut, you select or tick smart invert colors. To do this, you have to just head to the settings again. And then you go to general, you go to accessibility, scroll down until you see the word accessibility shortcut you can see at the bottom here see accessibility shortcut click on that and then what you have to do is you have to select smart invert colors here select it there this is step number one step number two is make sure that you add accessibility shortcut control to the existing control center by heading to the settings again i'm on the settings app now you go and find the word control center here and then you click on customize controls and you scroll down here you see more controls here it says accessibility shortcuts so you have to click the plus sign next to it to add it to the control center now you're ready so just slide up and then click on the accessibility shortcut icon the last one at the bottom right click on it now you see the word smart invert just select that and now your dark mode has been activated if you go to app store here see it's dark mode you go to settings here it's dark mode so you just activate it quickly from the control center and if you want to deactivate it again you don't have to go to the settings to deactivate the dark mode you just deactivate it from the control center which is very quick so you just click on the accessibility shortcut again when you click on the smart invert again it will deselect that now it just turned back to the normal mode everything is normal now so by using this trick you can activate dark mode quickly you can turn it off or back on very quickly this is really cool now let's move on to hidden feature number two which is the ability to record your ios device screen with ios 10 and below you are not able to record your ios screen at all if you want to do so you need to install an extra screen recording app like air show or display recorder however with ios 11 apple has generously agreed to let us record our ios device screen with its screen recording feature to enable that screen recording feature you go to settings 
go to control center and customize controls scroll down to find screen recording it should be noted that if you don't add the screen recording controls here if you swipe up you will not see it here by default you will not see it so you just have to add it here screen recording click the plus sign next to it now if you swipe up again you will see here the last one at the bottom is the the screen recording feature in order to record the screen just click on it it will start recording screen let's say i want to record my screen just click on this it show the countdown time and it start recording if you want to get more option you have to force click on the recording icon and it will show you more options as you can see below the word start recording it says microphone audio off so this one is basically the voice over if you want to include your voice as well while you're recording your ios device screen you can turn that on or off so if you want to stop recording you just click there and it will stop recording and it will save the recording file directly into your photos app unfortunately because right now i am recording my screen using another app to show you here that's why my screen recording feature doesn't work but i can guarantee you that after you add this feature you will be able to record your screen easily so this is hidden feature number two let's move on to hidden feature number three so the hidden feature number three is the ability to scan documents with your ios device without the need to install an extra app this scanning document feature is hidden in notes app so to scan a document you just open notes app and then you click to create a new note and at the bottom you can see above the keyboard you will see the plus sign click on there and now you see at the top it says scan documents click on it i have a document here and if you're done you click save it will save your document here on your note and also you can share this scan document as well with your friend by clicking here and you can send through message or mail or through airdrop as well which is really cool let's move on to another feature feature number four which is the ability to scan QR code using just your camera app it should be noted that in iOS 10 or below you are not able to scan QR code using your camera app at all if you want to do so you need to install an extra QR code app to scan but now with iOS 11 you can use your camera app to scan any QR code quickly without the need of an extra app so let's say I have this website the QR code generator so let's say I type something here this website is very cool just type any text you want to it will generate a QR code for that text for you for example I say this is a QR code testing so whatever you type it will generate a QR code right here for you you can download that to share with your friend or whatever like I said earlier you can use your built-in camera app to scan the QR code without the need of an extra app so you just open the camera app and as you can see, it just scans quickly. And at the top, you can see it shows this is the QR code testing. Let me try to type something else. Like, congratulations, you won $10 million. Okay, now open your camera app again. As you can see, it just scans quickly. It's a congratulations, you won $10 million. This is hidden feature number four. Let's move on to hidden feature number five, which is the ability to convert any internet web page on Safari into a PDF file. In the past, this feature only existed on your Mac OS, but now Apple also brings it to the iOS devices. To create a PDF file from a web page, just open Safari and go to any website that you like to create a PDF file of. Like right now, I'm on apple.com. Then click the share icon at the bottom. Then scroll to the right until you see a feature called create PDF. Click on that and then you click done. You can also make changes as well. If you want to highlight or anything, you can make some changes to it as well with this feature here. But if you don't, just click done here and it asks you to save or delete the PDF. Just click save file too. It will be automatically saved to the file app and you have a chance to select where you want to save it. So you can save on the iCloud Drive or on the Google Drive. It's your choice. Let's say I want to save on the my iCloud Drive. Click Add and it's done. If you go to my files app, click on the iCloud Drive and you can see the last one here. This is the 
PDF file that I have just saved at the moment. Okay, let's move on to hidden feature number six, which is the automatic SMS response to incoming call while driving. With this feature, you are able to let your iPhone respond to any incoming call with an SMS while you are driving. This is a life-saving feature for me because sometimes I find myself in a dangerous situation that I'm trying to respond to a phone call with a text message while I'm driving. But with this feature enabled, you won't have to worry about that anymore. So to enable this automatic SMS response feature, you just head to settings here. You go to do not disturb here. Click on it, scroll down. And at the bottom, you can see they have auto reply to and auto reply. So for auto reply here, this one is the message that you want it to send to any incoming call. So you can make changes to it by yourself to the way you want it to be. When you're done at the top here, you can also have the option to select those whom you want the auto reply to send to. So click on there here. You can select none, no one or recent or favorites or all contacts. So to me, I would select all contacts, but you may select your favorites or whatever. It's up to you. And then once there is incoming call and the iPhone detect that you're driving, it will automatically send a message to that person to let them know that you are driving. Okay, let's move on to the last hidden feature of this video, which is the ability to activate app switcher on your iPhone without using the double click on the home button. To make this trick works, you need to follow two steps. Step number one, you have to head to settings, general, accessibility, and then look for the word assistive touch here and then the second one from the top you can see they say customized top level menu click on that and now you will see these icons here what you have to do is you have to remove five of it and leave one behind just click minus here it will remove the icon one by one so minus it start removing all the icon one by one and now you have one left what you have to do is click on the last icon you have they say custom click on that and now they allow you to change the function of that icon and what you have to do is you have to select on the word multitasking here click done now you head back now step number two is you have to go to settings again now we are in settings you go to general again and then accessibility but this time you have to scroll down to the bottom and you will see the word accessibility shortcut click on that and make sure that you also tick or select on the assistive touch as you did before on the smart invert colors so at the top here you see assistive touch tick on that now you're ready so you just swipe up the control center and then you click on the accessibility shortcut here and now you have two choices you have to select the assistive touch now your assistive touch is active just click on it it will activate app switcher or multitasking let me show you here just click on it see it activate the app switcher without you having to double click on the home button and it should be noted that you can also turn on assistive touch quickly by triple click on the home button but remember your main goal is not to use the home button at all to activate the app switcher feature also by using control center you can make this app switcher activation much faster and you can switch on and off the assistive touch feature quickly and easily without touching the home button so i have the assistive touch here i don't have to touch the home button you just swipe up the control center and I go to accessibility shortcut and I just untick the excessive touch it will be gone so I don't have to touch the home button okay that's it guys these are seven awesome hidden features and tricks in iOS 11 thank you so much for watching if you like the video please click like comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video